What up, YouTube? This is Zertrix FX, and um, bringing you guys uh, kind of like a giveaway slash tutorial. Not really a giveaway, but um, I'm gonna be giving away this like texture pack, uh, not texture pack, style pack. But um, I know I've done something like this before. I have given away a style pack and made a tutorial on how to uh, save the styles. But um, I just wanted to do it again because I got some new styles and I transferred my stuff to Photoshop CS6. As you can see, I have it. So I had to make it anyway so I could save it on to this one that I have from CS5 right here. So I had to do it anyway. Just thought I hey, might as well give him my uh, my new um, styles. So here it is. First things first, when you download it, you're gonna want to open it. It's gonna be a PSD style pack right here. All right, and you know, wait for a second for it to load. It might take a little bit because there's a lot of stuff on there, a lot of um, styles and whatnot. So give that a second. And my computer sucks butthole. Come on, you could do it, big boy. Oh, I got Cinema 40 open. Let me close that. I know my desktop background is ugly, but let's not talk about that. Come on, you can do it your problem computer and beat your fucking ass computer oh my god you fuck there you there you go there you go good job buddy you did it alright come on alright so it should be opening any second now there it is Alright, so you can see it's got a hot girl in the background, which doesn't have anything to do with anything. So I don't even worry about that. Alright, it's it has these blue guidelines on there. I should have took them off. I mean, it's easy to take off. You just take the pointer tool. But you don't really need to take them off. So these are all the styles right here. That yellow one's like a caution tape kind of thing if you like zoom into it. That is like a vent on the right side. These are all good styles for text on the top, like uh, for gradients on your text. And these at the bottom are all pretty much for, um, what do you call it, interface. Interface or anything like that. So, um, alright, I have all the layers numbered 1 to 20. So, at the bottom, 1 would be the first one at the top, right here, this little silverish grayish one. 2 is on the right, 3 is on the right, it keeps on going, the green one is number 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, blah, 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 and this is the last two right here. So, uh, say you like the first style, you want that first style right there that I just made disappear and come back. You want to double click the layer and hit. Come on. All right, yeah. And this will pop. This will pop up right here. So what you want to go? It already has like the gradient and the, all the stuff already done for you. So you go to styles. And sorry for my computer going so slow. You want to hit new style, so click new style, name it whatever you want, okay, and then it's there. So whenever you want to make something and use that style, you just click that. Now I'm going to show you how to apply it to um, whatever you want to apply it to, like text, um, whatever. Come on, God, will someone donate me a thousand dollars so I could buy a good computer? Just kidding. Alright, so let's see. I'm going to go all the way to the top. I saved one of those ones that go on text, and I'm going to save one of the ones that are good for, um, uh, what you might call it, interface. So you can see what I mean with the, how they work out with the interface. So let me save one of these real quick. Oh god, here we go. Alright, so that's, it shows a little preview of it right there so you can tell which one it is. Alright, so you want to go to styles just like the other one. New style, okay. Alright, so I want to make a new, a little new tab, whatever you want to call it right now. So I can show you how to apply these styles to anything that you want to apply them to. Alright, okay. Alright, here you go. Alright, so I'm going to put some text. Please don't take forever. Right, this might take a second. Alright, there it is. Alright, so here's my text. Just type in whatever you want. I'm gonna type in tut, even though it's not really fully a tut, but it is. I don't know. I don't know what to call this video. Giveaway slash tutorial. 
Alright, I don't know why it's not oh, there it is. Alright, so that's your text layer. You wanna double click on your text layer. Wait for it to load up. There it is. Alright, so I wanna move this so I can see it. Go to styles. And a lot of people use this right here, these uh styles. Is it oh come on, what the hell? Oh, I'm just on the wrong layer, my bad. Make sure you click on the right layer with the text on it. Oh, what is going on here? Alright. Yeah, double clicking the, the layer that says touch, the layer with your text on it. You want to go to style or styles. And people use these just for clean text basically just to make it look good so that's what one of them will look like it looks really clean smooth looking it looks better on black than it does on white so I'm gonna change the background color to uh, a black so you can see what I mean god I really wish I had a faster computer guys I'm sorry about this color overlay I'm gonna change it to black so you can see how good it looks over black or a darker color right, I'm gonna do a dark gray alright as you can see that looks really clean alright now I'm gonna show you what those red ones are for the, the, the bottom two rows what those are meant for because those aren't really meant for text they don't really look good with text in my opinion so say you're making an interface uh, if you don't know what interface is look up uh, interface backgrounds on YouTube or Google images or whatever it's just basically use the pen tool to create your own designs freely and you can just like turn them into whatever you want and alright yeah so I'm gonna fill the path after I made a shape whoops I filled it on the wrong layer make sure you make a new layer for the shape that you're making so fill that up. Doesn't matter what color you use, because you're gonna turn it into interface by using one of the styles anyway. So, all right. So let's move this to the right so you can see what's going on with that styles, and just click the red one or whatever one you have and whatever one you like. It looks pretty clean. I mean, you could make it look better, change some of the color overlay, overlay, uh, anything you want, the gradient. But overall, it looks pretty clean. And that's what most people use and do for interface. So that's basically it, guys. I um, hope this tutorial helped you, and I hope you like these styles. I know these are the styles I personally use, so you're probably going to like them, because I love them. And they all work really good for me, and they look clean on backgrounds or whatever you're trying to do. So, um, yeah, please comment, like, and subscribe. I'm sorry I haven't been, to, been doing uh, too many uh, graphics videos. I've been busy. I got my PVR, and I have a clan and stuff. I'm trying to manage it and lead it and whatnot. But I'll try and do more graphics videos. And now my friend Muko right here is back into the graphics uh, right here. Say hi, Muko. Hello. Yeah, that's Muko right there. He done. He's done a lot for me. He's taught me, like, basically everything I know. So big shout out to Muko. I'll put his link in the description. Um, go check him out. He's like a really freaking good artist. Um, but yeah, that's it, guys. I'm out. Peace.